In this video, we're going to show you what to do when you receive an email from Google Search Console outlining some various errors to correct. First, we'll explain what Google Search Console actually does. Then we'll go through some of the most co common errors being crawled, currently not indexed, and then two high priority or critical errors that you need to fix, uh, such as excluded by non-index tag and the 404 not found. And we'll go through in a bit of detail on how to correct these. And then lastly, we'll just highlight some of the non-critical error errors that might come up. Google Search Console is a tool that helps website owners monitor and maintain their site's presence on Google Search. With the Google Search Console, you can check how Google sees your website, see which keywords are driving traffic to your site, and get alerts when there are errors or other issues that can affect your website's visibility on Google. Sometimes you'll get emails from Google that will let you know about any issues or opportunities for improvement on your website. These notifications can be either critical or non-critical, but it's important to understand that these alerts have nothing to do with your health or security of your website. Instead, these alerts are simply about how your website is performing on Google search results. We'll go through one of the most common notices as well as two high priority or critical errors that you need to address. And finally, we'll quickly go through some non-critical errors worth noting. So one of the most common notices that you'll see is something like this one, crawled currently not index. And what it means is that Google search robots, also known as crawlers, have found your website and processed it, but the information on your website is not currently being displayed in Google search results. To put it in simpler terms, imagine that Google search results are like a library with shelves and books. Google's crawlers are like librarians who go around collecting information about all the books in the library. However, just because a librarian has collected information about a book, it doesn't mean that the book has been placed on a shelf for people to find and check it out. In the same way, just because Google's crawlers have processed your website, it doesn't mean that your website will display in Google search results. You have to remember, Google crawls billions of pages each day. So if you see this message, most of the time it means that Google just needs a bit more time to process certain pages on your website for them to show in Google search results. However, sometimes this crawled, currently not indexed message can lead to issues that you need to address. We'll go through some of these shortly. The critical um, Google Search Console messages you might get is what you call a 404 error. So what that is, it's Google telling you that it's got a link on your site that cannot be found as a physical page. So the critical um, Google Search Console messages you might get is what you call a 404 error. So what that is, it's Google telling you that it's got a link on your site that cannot be found as a physical page. So Using the library analogy I mentioned earlier, imagine a library where all the books are neatly organized on the shelves according to their unique call numbers. When you walk into the library and ask the librarian for a specific book, the librarian can easily direct you to the right shelf where the book is located. But what if the book is not on the shelf? The librarian would tell you that the book is not available and you would leave the library empty handed. In the same way, a 404 page error occurs when a user tries to access a specific page on your website, but the page is not available or cannot be found. When this happens, Google responds with a 404 error code, indicating that the requested page is missing. It's important to address these 404 errors because they can negatively impact website traffic, SEO, and importantly, ruin the user experience. Resolving a 404 error can depend on the circumstance though. If the page has been deleted, you should set up a redirect going to your home page or a page with similar content. However, if you've just used a different URL slug for a page, you should make sure that you've set up a redirect going to the new URL slug. This way, users who try to access the old page will automatically be redirected to the new one. In some cases, a 404 error may be caused by a mistake if you accidentally deleted a page or set it to private. In this case, you should restore that accidentally deleted page or set that page from private to publish again. And finally, if it's not a real page that's picked up by the 404 error, you should set a redirect going to your home page. For example, sometimes Google accidentally picks up pages that are meant to be internal pages with some code. So you should set up a redirect for this specific page to go to your home page. We'll show you shortly how to set up redirects. Okay, for 404 notifications. 
An example might look like this. So the first thing you want to do is click on the button that says fix page indexing issue. Once you click on the link, you should get a page similar, similarly like this. And just for this uh, demonstration, we just kind of use this dummy example for our template site. So right now it's picking up uh, hypothetically a 404 error on a page with the slug test. So the first thing you want to do is click on the symbol right here and that will open up to uh, the link itself. Okay, so it's popped up the page right here. You can see it's got the test slug. And yes, it's a 404 page not found. Okay, so to remedy this, the first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress dat, uh, admin. And I'm using the template site as an example. And what we want to do is add a redirect for that uh, 404 page. So from your dashboard, let's go down to tools and redirection. And then from here, we want to add new. And all you have to do is add in the slug. So for this example, it's test. Uh, and then the target URL. Uh, if you want it to go to a specific page, let's say your services page, uh, you type in the services page slug, so services. But majority of the cases, it probably will go to your home page. And if that's the case, all you have to do is put in the forward slash. Uh, you don't need to put in home. And then add redirect. And then it will pop down here and then you can quickly check if it works. Yeah, it works. Okay, so the next step is to log into your Google Search Console uh, panel. So again, I'm using the template site as an example. And from the left uh, sidebar, you want to click on removals. And then type in, uh, click on the new request button. And you want to put in uh, the full URL of the, your, uh, the 404 page that wasn't being picked up. So it is uh, template whitneybateson.com test. And then click on next. And then it's going to ask you if you want to uh, remove the URL for sure. And there you go. So what this will do is it will tell Google to actually remove this particular URL with tests uh, as a slug from any Google search results. And the final step is to go into your Google search console and under that uh, met the, uh, notice where you had the 404, if you go all the way to the top, you should see a button that says validate fix. So click on that and it will give you a prompt that will tell you that Google will be in the process of fixing uh, the 404 error, for example. Uh, and you'll get notified by email. And that are all that is all the steps for fixing a 404 page error. So the other high priority or critical error that needs to be addressed are errors that have been classified as exclude by non-index tag. And what this means, it refers to a method of telling Google not to index certain pages on your website. So if you get an error like this, it's best to address it straight away and we'll show you how. Okay, so you want to log into your WordPress admin and then from the dashboard, let's go to pages and all pages. And let's just say, for example, the error actually relates to the contact page saying it's uh, been flagged as non-indexed. So go to the contact page and what you want to do is click on edit. And then scroll all the way down and then under the SEO uh, section here, Yoast SEO, you'll see an advanced toggle. So click on that. And I've deliberately made this no and no just for demonstration purposes. But if you ever see this, what you want to do is click on the drop down and click, click on yes, current default for pages. And under should search for engines follow links on this page, click yes and click on update. And what this will do, this will now revert your this particular page from non-index tag to an indexable tag. So it's going to tell Google to go ahead and add this particular page to Google search results. Okay, so the next step is to notify Google Search Console that you've remedied the issue by changing the tag from non-index to index. So what you want to do is go ahead and log into your Google Search Console and then 
on the sidebar here, let's click on URL inspection. And I've gone ahead and typed it in. So the example we use is a contact page. So just type the full URL in this search bar. And then you'll see this request indexing, indexing uh, link right here. So go ahead and click it. And what that will do is it will tell Google to go ahead and crawl the page and check that it's been marked for indexing. And if it passed those two tests, then it will become discoverable on any Google search results. Okay, so the biggest thing to uh, keep out for is sometimes this is not an automatic fix. Uh, I would say 75% of the time this works, sometimes it doesn't. You just have to be patient. Uh, once you've requested indexing, it can take a, anywhere between a few days to a few weeks and sometimes some months, unfortunately. Going back to my point that Google does crawl billions and billions of URLs each day. So something like this uh, is, uh, I guess, low priority for Google. So uh, you have to be patient in getting Google to index this specific page. Okay, now moving on to the non-critical emails that you might get from Google Search Console. Uh, here's one, for example, uh, duplicate. Google chose different canonical, canonical <laughs> than user. So this message means that Google has found multiple versions of the same content on your website, and it has picked a version that it thinks is the most relevant to show in search results, which is different from the version you specified as the main one. As an example, let's say your page has, your website has a page called consultation services. The page is accessible through multiple URLs, such as, for example, uh, whatever your website is, uh, then the slug is consultation dash services. And then there's a second uh, URL that's very similar, but it's got the slug forward slash consultation dash services question mark index equals one. Sometimes this happens in WordPress sites where a URL with some weird characters latches onto a proper URL and makes its way to Google. Google usually will only index the first, uh, for example, the one with the proper URL, so consultation-services, and ignore the second URL, so the consultation-services question mark index equals one, uh, to avoid any potential duplication issues. However, in the rare occasion that Google accidentally indexes the URL with the weird characters at the end, you most probably will need to reach out to our tech support team to investigate into this further. Another non-critical error message you might get from Google Search Console is this, for example, where you'll get a notice saying a, there is a page with a redirect. So what this usually means is there's a specific page that has been redirected to another page. And this is usually done deliberately because uh, a page has been uh, discovered through Google Search Console, but it's not necessarily should be uh, discoverable on Google Search Console. So let's just say, for example, you've accidentally uh, had a page called uh, Draft uh, that made its way on Google Search results. We would usually put a redirect to have that redirected to either an appropriate page that kind of caters that for that content or to your home page. So what this uh, message page with redirect means is just notify you that this particular page has been discoverable, but it has now been redirected to another URL. So the main thing to look out for is when you see this, do inspect it and just make sure that the page that has been identified with a redirect is being redirected to a proper page on your website. And the last non-critical message you might get from Google Search Console is something like, like this, structure missing field location. Uh, and this is, for example, let's just say you have recipes and uh, the recipes might say, they might be saying that it might be missing the uh, author or the photo in the recipe. And what it is, it's Google trying to ensure that information on that recipe post is complete. Uh, for example, the best recipes have authors on it. But sometimes it's just checking and it's actually providing some tips to improve where possible. Uh, sometimes you go through it and sometimes it won't have anything meaningful that you need to address. So this is just worth noting. Um, this is more of an improvement item that you can, uh, that may be picked up by Google. But again, most of the times it's something you can probably um, skip by. 
Okay, so that is all of the important points we want to raise for when you get emails from Google Search Console. If there are any other uh, messages you get from uh, Google Search Console and you don't know what it means, uh, it's best to click on the link from that message. Uh, it usually says help article from Google. And if that doesn't help, so because sometimes it can be a little bit too technical, their explanation, explanation. So the other thing you can do is just go ahead and type in, uh, for example, how to fix and then put in the name of the error and then go through the Google search results because most of the time someone else has encountered the same problem and have either published a quick guide or a quick blog post to actually uh, show you how to fix those issues in more layman's terms. Okay.